First thing you do when you get your anti-splatter guard is you put the end caps into the roller, which is very straightforward, just push them home. Then you take hold of the actual guard itself to locate the roller sleeve in the guard. Locate that end like so, then you just peel that back and pop that one home. Now the, the roller is actually ready to go. To take it out for cleaning is just the reverse. The handle can be mounted in uh, two ways really. This way for conventional use. You locate it behind the two lugs and you just push it home. Or if you wanted to work from one side, if maybe you're working in a tight corner or something like that, you put the handle this way around, again locating it there and pulling it over. But we're just going to demonstrate using um, in the conventional way. So you pop it in. There you are. You know it's home because the lug has sprung clear. The handle itself is slightly tapered and that's to allow you to put a broom handle in or an extension pole. Conventional broom handle goes in quite adequately, you just push it home and now you've got an extended handle here. Most people would only need maybe a couple of foot of extension to do the highest of ceilings from the floor. A useful feature of the anti-splatter guard are these two spindle mounts here, one on each end. What they allow you to do is work very close to the wall adjacent to the one you're painting without getting any paint from the roller onto the adjacent wall and so you might be working on a contrasting colour like we are behind but you won't get any spill. All you need to do is just make sure you don't have any paint around here when you've taken it out of the roller tray. Now as I was saying the useful feature is that the lug keeps you clear of the adjacent wall. Then all that you do is simply roll up and down as you would do with any conventional roller frame. What I've done here is I've put the handle on to allow me to work overhead. With the extension um, handle fitted to the anti-splatter guard, I can now just work from the ground on the ceiling above. Just don't go too fast and just go slowly and if there should be any slight dripping that would come away from the ceiling, it's contained by the anti-splatter guard. So there you are, the anti-splatter guard for use with your roller sleeves. Don't forget, you can clean the rollers using the Dandy Pro.